What is going on, everybody? I am here with my main man, Jackknife Finnegan, and that is Jackknife Finn on Twitter. Jackknife, J-A-C-K-K-N-I-F-E, F-I-N-N on Twitter, and Jackknife Finnegan on Instagram as well. And you can just type in Jackknife Finnegan on YouTube. You can search him up and find him. And uh, there he is. Man. Make sure you show him some love. The links will be all down in the description. And yeah, man. Uh, what's up, Jack? How you doing, man? Not much. What's going on, man? What's going on? Man, it's going all right, man. It's going all right. Glad to have you here. Glad to have you here, man. What's going on in your neck of the wood, man? It's been a while, man. Uh, what is it? Normal Thursday, just chilling. And uh, But first and foremost, <laughs> one thing you got to know about Jack Knight Finnegan, there's one thing you, you might got to twist it. I know I, I know I don't get on many interviews. I know I don't do this uh, often. But if you know Jack Knight Finnegan, you know how we get down, brother. You got to have a beer, brother. You got to have all a right. beer. If you ain't... If you ain't having a beer, you're at the wrong location. That's all I'm telling you. So, bottoms up, brother. Cheers, man. I got a little sippy sippy cup. <clears throat> so, we're going to do it right. What's that? Pat's Blue? Pat's Pat, Pat, Ribbon? Pat's Blue Ribbon. Yeah. We, <laughs> we, we, keep, we keep it classy over here. We keep it classy. 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 I like it, man. All right. Well, look. <laughs> well, check it out. I got something for you, then. All right. We're going to start it off like this, then. In an effort to skew younger, you know what I'm saying? We play we play Nintendo, as I like to call it, but in an effort to skew younger, man, help me out. I just dropped out of Mars. I don't know anything about uh, 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 you or this, this world or whatever. You're a salesman. I okay. want you to sell me on why I should be a Coolio fan. <laughs> oh, Coolio. Well, um, obviously, bro, he's... Been on a fantastic voyage. That guy's been on a fantastic voyage. He's also walked through the gangster's paradise. He's also ate one meal that consists of a can of corn. And he's also made an infamous ghetto cartoon. And he has awesome hair. Not not, not so much anymore, but at the time, he had the greatest hair of all time. Nobody. Amazing. Bro, nobody likes Coolio. Yes, thank you. Oh Shout my out to God, Coolio! If you're if you're watching, Coolio, I <laughs> love you. Coolio. God if you're bless watching, you. I love you, Coolio. Don't listen to this guy. <laughs> I like Coolio. Coolio is amazing. <laughs> so, what kind of music did you listen to growing up? You listen to rap, hip hop? Um, actually, you know what's crazy is I I listen to a, a large amount of music. A large amount of music. Um, when my dad was in prison for uh, ten years, right? And uh, we would drive up to go visit my dad. It was a two-hour drive to there. It was a two-hour drive home. And every time we would go, I listened to music from the, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, and then the 70s and 80s. I listened to music like that because that's what, I'm, what my mom listened to. So I heard a lot of that music. And then um, I started liking the Beach Boys. I'm like, oh, Beach Boys are awesome. You know, I used to you know ride my bike, listen to the Beach Boys when I was nine. And I'm like, okay. And then I met this kid, and he's like, he goes, what do you listen to? I go, Beach Boys. He laughed at me. He took my tape. He broke it. I'm like, what are you doing? That was amazing. My 409, and I'm rocking out to all the Beach Boys. And he put Dr. Dre in my Walkman. Oh, man. Bro. Which one? The Chronic? Bro, first one? I never looked back. I ne I'm i like, Beach Boys who? I had Dr. Dre. I had Easy. e I had Snoop Dogg. I had, I had Ice Cube, bro. I was rocking. I had N.W.A., I mean, I had all the jams in my nice. Walkman, bro. Nice. And then, were, and then, then my friends like, "You want Beach Boy?" I'm like, ah, pff, "Get out of here, bro! What Beach Boy? What? You know?" But no, that, that that's how it started. And I listened to every genre. I like, I love every style of music, except nice. for the heavy metal. That's a little tough. I love the instrumentation, but I can't take all that screaming. The screaming drives me crazy. But the instruments, amazing. But when they go like, eh, I can't do that. I can't do that. It's too. You loud. play any instruments? Do you play any instruments? No. I can do no. digital synthesizer, but that's it. Like <laughs> What's that? Pad. Like 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 Guitar Hero or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, 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 like a drum pad, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, I got you. I got yeah, you. yeah, I can do that. I can do that. So you jackknife on the beats? Jackknife on the beats. Bro, I make beats. <laughs> I used to make beats. I had a record company from uh, 16 to 21. Nice. Oh, you got to let me hear some. Oh. You got to let me hear some sometime. If you heard my beats, you'd be like, what? You'd be amazed. You'd be amazed. All right. All right. It's, not, it's not Coolio. But uh, it's amazing. I hope know? not. I hope not. <laughs> cool, hey. yo. If you're listening, get at me, bro. Oh man, that's gonna be rough. <laughs> hey, so so where you, where are you from? If you don't um, mind, if you don't mind talking, you can you can you don't have I'm to. I'm from no, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. 
Um, we lived in Chicago. Um, my dad got arrested, everything, we, and um, the welfare was not as good in Chicago as it is in Minnesota. So my parent, my mom uprooted us, moved us to uh, Minnesota because the welfare program is a lot, was not, not so much anymore, but was very, very awesome in Minnesota, the welfare program. Now you keep mentioning it. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go. No, you said so the welfare program, but well, what I was going to ask you was you keep mentioning your dad got arrested and I'm sorry to cut you off, but like, what, what, if you don't mind, like, what did he get arrested for? Well, I mean, he went away for 10 years on like racketeering and and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Just, oh. You know, he, he, he had a couple businesses, you know, he did a couple things and uh, he got jammed up, you know. I got you. I got so, you. So what was that like growing up around that kind of atmosphere? Um, I'm not were, you, were you exposed to it at all? Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, bro. We went from millionaire status. My dad had Model T cars. He had actual race cars. We lived in a house, a monster house. And one day he gets arrested. We're in the housing project. We're on welfare. We have no car. It's rusty. It barely works. My mom needs to use a, uh, a coat hanger just to get it to go. Damn. And that we went from that, from this, to this in one day. With roach-infested apartment. So y'all had what we used to call black folks problems. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> but Yo. we went from we went from here to here you in a matter of a problem. day, bro. That's what we used to call day. it back in college. <laughs> in a day. You got black folks problems. I, I mean, it was, it. it was bad, though, because my mom would send me to the grocery store, and, and at the time, they didn't have EBT cards. Like, nowadays, you got an EBT card. It looks, you know, semi, semi-respectable, semi you know, because it's like everybody else. But it, back in the day, they gave you food stamps, which was colorful money, like Monopoly money. I remember them joints, bro. So, my grandma, we had them, bro. Oh, uh, so bro, I'd go to the grocery store, right? And I'd, I'd crazy. buy something, and I'd look at, and I'd look at him, and I'd go, I'd be like, "How do you want me to pay? You want purple? Do you want green? Do you want orange? What do you need here? You know, like I don't know what color these are, bro. I remember them joints like yesterday. That's funny. I haven't heard anybody <laughs> talk to bro. I haven't heard anybody talk about real food stamps for so long. <laughs> this is how you get younger, yo. This is exactly how your energy <laughs> gets younger and reach young kids. We talk about a bunch of stuff they don't know about now. Speaking of kids, now you're a family man now, right? Yep, yep, yep. And you got kids. Got kids, yes. How many kids you got? I have two of my own and two step kids. Nice. What are their ages? Uh, they go from what seven to nine to eighteen and twenty one. Oh damn. Okay. So you got a nice little, nice little yeah. gap. Yeah. Got got a spectrum. What's that like, man? Balancing like family life, father. And gaming, like, because I, I mean, gaming can can take up a lot, especially when you're building. We have an awesome community. It, it sucks. Um, now, what do I mean? It sucks. And I know you're thinking, you're like, Jack, how can it suck? Because you you look like you're doing things, you're successful, you're doing what you're doing, but at the end of the day, something's got to give. That's what a lot of people don't understand. So when I'm on my stream and I'm streaming or I'm gaming, I'm doing YouTube, my all is into that. Mm. And guess what's lacking? My wife hanging out with my wife or my kids, you know what I'm saying? Something's always got to give. And it's so hard to balance, you know, you balance your kids time, your wife time and YouTube time, you know, especially when, when you love your community, like my community, I love it. I mean, they're insane. I love them, but it's hard because, you know, I got to pay attention to my wife. I got to pay attention to my kids, but then I got to get this YouTube up and running. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it makes it difficult, you know? It's Right, especially when you realize at the end of the day, and you don't mean any harm by it, but the people, you know, they want what they want, and you got to give them what they want. You know, they don't Absolutely. really – family time is not their not their concern, right? So I feel you on that. So, like, you know. trying to balance it, what's, like, a typical weekend at the Finn, at the Finn Gang compound? Like, with the fam, when you're away from YouTube, what's that like? Like, what are you guys doing? I'm just chilling, man. I'm on the couch. I'm going through YouTube, or I'm hanging out with the kids out on the trampoline, or – my son's playing video games. I'm watching him do video games or, you know, uh, take him to karate practice or we go do stuff out in the yard. And, I mean, you know, I still keep that intact, you know, and do this and that. But I think the weekend, you know, I'll go home, I'll go to bed. I get up. I do all the family stuff. I try to stream. Then I do more family stuff, do dinner, and then I stream again. Um, that's how I try to, you know, keep it all moving. But it's tough, man. Sometimes you lose yourself, you know. Yeah, so now you say watching your kids game. Like are they are they streaming or anything like that? Well, not yet. My son my son wants to get into it. I'm in the process of setting him up a YouTube channel. I'm really excited about it. 
Because uh, one thing that I don't like is when I'm streaming my games. Now, keep in mind, he would be a friendly channel. I cuss, I swear. Okay, yeah. I, that's me. I cuss, I swear. But what my son does is he doesn't cuss, he doesn't swear. And one thing that I hate about my channel is I'm in a niche. I'm in, I have like adult games that do this and that. I can't really ping pong between Grand Theft Auto to Minecraft. I can't, you know, I can't do that, that gap. You know, that's just not me. But the cool thing and, and what annoys me is someone comes to my channel like, hey, do you play Minecraft? I'm like, no, I don't. Well, now I'm sending that guy to another person where my son, he actually plays Minecraft. He plays all the games that I don't play that people do find enjoyable. So now I could be like, oh, yeah, my son does that. You could definitely join him and, and play with him. You know what I'm saying? So then we keep it all all in the in the mix. You know what I'm saying? We, I'm not sending them to, you know, Tom, Dick, and Harry. I'm keeping it at the house. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. So y'all aren't like, so they play different games from. Yeah. From different from than what I do. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. So there's not really a lot of competition in that regards. It's just all family love. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope, man. So I guess in a sense, you can see them joining the family business, I guess. Right. Well, I plan on handing it to them when, uh, you know, when old Jack, you know, I'm, I'm not young. I'm not a young pup, but you know, when Jack hangs up the boots, I do plan on, uh, you know, shipping it his way. Hopefully. <laughs> How old are you, Jack? Me, I'm 36. I'm 36. Nice. Yeah, I'm 30. I'm 39. So I feel you. I won't leave you out there to dry like that. Oh, I'm an old man. <laughs> I'm an old, old dude. <laughs> I feel you, man. Like, don't be putting Ooh. in the comments either. I see you guys. Don't be putting in the comments. You're not that old, Jack. Don't be. Don't be kissing my ass. Okay. Nah, we are. We're old. We're old. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, like, I, so, that, so that's crazy. Like. Like when we were younger, people were, you know, like parents, they were handing down businesses, law firms, gas stations. This is crazy, right? Could you have ever imagined <laughs> just even the thought of handing down gaming anything to your kids? I never thought I'd be on YouTube, bro. I never wanted to do YouTube. I never, never planned on doing it, bro. I never yep. planned on doing it. No, nope, never, never. Not at all. How did it happen? Were you like watching your kids or something? Like. Well, one day, honestly, this is what happened. I I, um, I did Amazon Flex. It's a gig economy job. Mm. And I watched a lot of people on YouTube do it, you know, talk about before I did it because I didn't have enough courage to go do it. So I'm watching all these videos, right? And I'm watching. And they're like, oh, it's easy. It's this, it's this, it's this and this. So then I go do it. And it's the opposite of what they said. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. And then I record myself doing it, right? So I record myself talking about how shitty it is and I can't stand it. And that video goes viral. It gets over 40, you know, almost 40, 30, you know, 39, 40,000 views. And people are subbing to the channel thing. And I'm, you know, they're like, man, you're funny. You're this, you're that. And I'm like, that's cool. So I did another video. It starts popping off. And then one day I love Grand Theft Auto 5. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try streaming Grand Theft Auto 5, see what happens. I met a good group of people. It just snowballed. It just kept snowballing. And here we are today. Nice. You know, so so what was your family's reaction when you was like, hey, I think I'm a I think I'm gonna do something on YouTube. I never told my wife about it. I never <laughs> told I, I never told my wife about it. I never told my kids about it. I just kept it to myself and I did it. And then one day I, I, I was in Chicago and we were we were vlogging in Chicago and um I started you know I started vlogging and videotaping. My wife's like, What are you doing? And I go, This is for my YouTube channel. She's like, What are you talking about? She didn't really know about it. I'm like, well, at that time, I had like 2,000 subs. And uh, she's like, oh, okay. And she thought it was a joke. She thought it was kind of stupid. She's like, whatever. Yeah. At that time, I had 2,000 subs. My wife, um, you know, looked at it. She laughed at it. She's like, ah, it ain't going to be nothing, whatever. And then she started realizing my, my sub count's going up. My money, money's actually coming in. And then she's like, you know, she kind of like was like, okay, okay. At the time, I had a job. I was a blackjack dealer for 20 years. So at the time, she let me. She allowed me to do this because Blackjack was bringing in the money. YouTube was not bringing in the money. You know what I'm saying? Right. So right. she's like, just do what you want. Have fun with it, blah, blah, blah. Now, as of recently, I lost my job to coronavirus, COVID-19, we all know. Lost mm -hmm. my job. And uh, I've been trying to do YouTube full time. And my wife is actually starting to see it become a real thing. And she jumped on board. And now we make our own merch. Um, we have our own merch company. Oh, that's Jack dope. JackknifeFinnegan.com. That's why you got JackknifeFinnegan.com. I got shirts. I got beanies. I have COVID masks. I have everything. You can go on JackknifeFinnegan.com, buy it, and uh, that's it, man. I got I got my own my own merch line. So nice, um, man. And, and my wife's on board with it. You know what I'm saying? So now 
now she's trying to like integrate herself in and try to become something. Now, now she wants to get into it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I almost want to be like, piss off. You weren't there when I just started. <laughs> but no, oh, no. no, I'll let her in. I'll let her in. <laughs> God damn it. I'll let her that's, in. That's dope, man. That's dope. Truly a family business. That's awesome. All right. So check it out, man. This portion, man, you know, shout out to Sonny Evans. We're going to take it again to the, the 10 rapid questions. You know what I mean? And in honor of him, you get one pass, but we're going to give you 20 questions. So you get only two passes if you choose. All right. Okay. Two passes if you choose. You ready? Sure. All right. Sports fan. Yes or no? I'll say yes. I'll say yes. All right. You got a favorite team? Um, I like hockey. <laughs> I like hockey. And now I love everything about hockey. You know what I'm saying? Hockey's my jam. Uh, but we're going to go with football. My favorite football is Chicago Bears. Hockey, I like pretty much every team. And, uh, you know, all the other sports are kind of meh. That's what's up. Favorite food? <clears throat> Seafood. Nice. Favorite color? Green. Green. Are you a are you a small YouTuber? I think so, yes. That's dope. First console you ever own. Nintendo. <laughs> nice. That's me, <laughs> bro. Me too, man. My brother had an Atari. That thing was dumb, man. I, I people people would be trying to say Atari was a jam. I'm like, nah, bro. I don't no. know. It had one no. button. I was dumb. All right, <laughs> your first famous crush. Do you remember? I remember mine. I'll go ahead and tell you. It was T-Boz from TLC. I love T-Boz, yo. I don't really, man, I'm trying to think who I had, man. I had a lot of them, though, I think. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm trying to think, like. Um, All I right, mean, give us a couple. I mean, I'm trying to think, man. I'm not. Oh, oh man, what was? Oh man, I, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna probably put myself on blast on this one. It is what it is. I thought. I thought Selma Hayek, and Desperado. Mm. Amazing. No, she was dope. I love that movie. Yeah, that movie. That movie was so terrible, so terribly good. I love it. So, so now I'm gonna go from the left. Okay, we got Selma Hayek, and I'm gonna tell you right now, Takara Jones. Oh man. Who is that? Wow, well, I see oh, her in my head. Who is that? Oh, oh, you should definitely see her in your head. I'm gonna have to look her up. Oh look my up. god. Yeah, you should definitely check Takara Jones out. She was in uh Celebrity Fit Club. And uh and then she did uh I think she was on the cover of King magazine. And whoo! Oh my god, <laughs> that woman could change lives, bro. She could change lives. Come on now. I'm a I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Hey. I'm a fan. That's all you need to know. I don't even know. Right. I don't even know what movie she was in, but goddamn, she was yes. <laughs> all right, I should ask you just a second ago. Favorite two or three games of all time? Grand Theft Auto. Uh, the whole series. The whole series. <clears throat> um, I liked WWE SmackDown versus Raw with uh, Brock Lesnar on the cover. Bring, uh, I think it was called Bring the Pain. That was a dope game. I love that one. So San Andreas, bring the pain, and I'm gonna have to go with the Warriors. The Warriors from Rockstar Games, another underrated game of all time. Yeah, I never heard of that either. Three of my favorite games, man. Three of my favorite. Nice. All right, you ever play Warriors on it? Is that that's like an older console game? I've never heard uh, of it. Uh, PS2, PS2. Oh damn, back in the day. All right. Yeah. All right, so here's one for you. you people are gonna love it. Worst spanking you ever got by your parents, and why? Um, well, that was when I was uh, living in the housing and a couple of my buddies told me to come across the street and play in a creek. So I play in this creek and it's during the winter time and I fell through the ice. One of my pant legs went through the ice and I wasn't going to go home and tell mom I was playing in the creek because she'd whoop my ass. So I said, all right, I'm gonna go to school. So I go to school. My one pant leg is frozen. So I sit down and she calls my mom saying that my pant leg is frozen. And it's this, it's that. So my mom comes into the school with a fresh pair of pants and a bag, and I go to the, boy, uh, the boys' bathroom to change. My mom comes walking in there, beating the shit out of me with her bare, <laughs> with her bare ass hand. I'm like crying. I'm screaming. The teacher runs into the bathroom. I'm sitting there getting my ass whooped by my mom, and I'm crying. And then all my friends are looking at me. So then I go back to the class. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, have my tears in my eyes. I sit down and they're like. <laughs> and I'm like, shut the hell up, man. Like, I was pissed. But yeah, it was one of my best whoopings ever. 
bro, you got beat in front of the class. You never, you never let that down. No, no, thank God we moved two years later. You got a whole different city. That's all you can do is move on now. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> it's over after that. Yo, you never you never got any more ammo. All right. So this question right here is for after you moved. <laughs> so in high school, fill in the blank. Jackknife was considered a blank. Um, you know what's funny is I was liked by everybody. I just didn't like everybody. You know what I'm saying? I was an outcast. I, I had one friend in high school. That's it. Only one friend. Mm. We ran a record company. We did our own thing. We were focused on ourselves <clears throat> and, and becoming the next best thing. And we did really well. We did awesome. <clears throat> we did awesome. But um, I just kept to myself, man. I didn't want friends. I didn't want to hang out. I didn't want, you know, I don't think I was, I was worthy enough to hang out with the rich kids. I didn't think I was worthy enough to date like a, a nice rich girl. Uh, you know, I was, I, I was told my whole life, you're gutter, you're trash, you're, you're a low life. You're, you're a bum. Like I was told my whole life that, you know what I'm saying? And, and when you're a senior in school and you're told your whole life, because all these kids got the fuck, they all got, I'm, I'm trying not to watch, I'm trying to watch my language, but you got all these yeah. kids, that, you know, they all, they all got the Nikes, they got the Doc Martens, they got the, you know, all the fancy stuff. And I'm over here rocking um, utility shirts from Target or Faded Glory pants or Wrangler pants. And they all got this high-end fancy stuff. My parents couldn't afford that. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't afford it. And I never fit in with those people. I never fit in with them. I was the bum, the low life. You know, hell, right now, I'm wearing a Finnegan t-shirt and pajama pants, bro. And I'm going to go to the grocery store wearing the exact same pajama pants and no socks in my shoes. <laughs> I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. I'm being 100 percent with you, bro. I ain't lying. I All right, first car. Holy shit! What was it? It was a, such a dirty ass one. I think it was a Dodge Shadow. That motherfucker couldn't even get up the hill, bro. We Ooh. were going up a hill, right? We're going up. All of a sudden, we get up halfway this hill. All of a sudden, here, click, 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 and all of a sudden, it starts going backwards. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what's going on? This son of a bitch is rolling backwards. And then <laughs> I got out of there and I sold it. I'm like, I have to get rid of this piece of shit. I got rid of it, man. <laughs> a Dodge Shadow. Just All right. A- Something embarrassing your fans may not know about Jackknife. Um well when I when I first met my wife. Um, her family took it up, took us out to a nice dinner, a very nice dinner. It was her whole family, everybody, the whole nine. And these people were quote unquote rich type people. You know what I'm saying? So we, we went out to this nice ass restaurant, everything. First time they ever meet me, the first time they ever met me. Right. And I'm sitting there and I'm like telling them, I don't know where this story came up, but I was like, yeah, I'm like this. I'm doing this shit to them, you know, and I'm telling them a story about this. And I'm not joking, bro. I took my fucking hand away and I'm like this. And I'm flipping off the entire fucking family. And the lady's like, wow, I'm paying for your dinner. And I'm like, uh, when I realize I'm flipping them off, I'm like, holy shit. I, I put my finger away and I'm like, oh my fucking God, bro. I felt like a fucking clown. My wife bro. still makes fun of me till this day. How, how old were you? 12? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I was in my goddamn 20s, bro. <laughs> I'm a fucking five year old at heart, man. I can't help it. I can't help it, bro. I need help. <laughs> Jesus. All right, here we go. This right here may get you in. This shouldn't get you in trouble. This is an easy one. All right. Mar- Marvel or DC? Super easy. That's hard. That's not what? easy. What are you what? talking about? Well, what you know you- what? All right, hold on, hold on. You got to separate it. You know what? I'll, 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 let's make it easier. Movies and then comics. Movies, Marvel or DC? Well, Marvel, obviously. All right. Comics, probably DC. Pride both because you got the I mean you got I mean you can't you got Batman Batman's DC you got Joker DC you got Wolverine Marvel I mean you got that the comics is the hardest one movies hands down Marvel DC movies suck ass we all know it they are trash Too Marvel easy. movies superior to DC video uh, movies but when you take the comics way too hard it's a tough one what. Uh, right. I'm, having, I'm having fun, bro. Keep going. Don't worry cool. about it. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so favorite superhero. Where do you come up with these, bro? I mean, come on now. These are the hardest. <laughs> these are the hardest questions, man. I know. There's too many of them. 
<laughs> you know, there's too many, man. Su superheroes, there's way too many. <laughs> to, have a fa to have a favorite one is impossible, bro. Right, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. Growing up, man, Wolverine, I loved him. Loved him. I love Wolverine. Logan was my man growing up. And then, like, the movies, man, I don't know. I could be torn in the movies. I like a lot of them. I mean, growing, I mean, I like Nightcrawler. I thought Nightcrawler was kind of dope. I actually enjoyed Nightcrawler. I liked him. Well, that's a but, sneaky one. But the, one, the ones that I liked, I like Nightcrawler. I like Batman growing up. Batman definitely was my jam. I but love I, that. But I never liked the superheroes. I liked the, the bad guys, bro. I love Penguin. Penguin was badass. I love Joker. Joker was badass. And I had a lot of night, uh, night, um, Special nighttime moments with Catwoman, especially in her, <laughs> especially in her, in her, dude, in her costume. <laughs> My God, Michelle Pfeiffer never looked so goddamn good, bro. She looked like a million bucks in that Catwoman costume. Man. I was like, shit, she could beat me up any day of the week. Bro, there are so many young people right now that are going to be listening to this who have no idea who Michelle Pfeiffer is. <laughs> oh, you know, oh my God. you guys were missing out. There's a lot of, there's a lot of. Special moments that me and Michelle Viper shared. Jeez. Michelle, if you're watching, call me. I miss. She won't. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pick, pick one. Pick one. <laughs> pick one. Nature or the ocean? Ocean, hands down. Easy, easy. Yep. Now nah, y'all got like the lakes up there. Y'all don't have like a beach. We ain't got. Yeah, we ain't got shit. We got. It's we got the crusty. Or? We got the crusty ass lakes. Ones with the coli and. Right, STDs swimming in them. I don't know what the hell he got in them. Dude. You go swimming in there, you'll come up with an arm out your back. It's weird. <laughs> but um, but I love the oceans. Man. We got nature all around us out here. Maybe that's why I take it for granted, but I love the ocean, man. I love the And I can't swim, bro. I can't swim, but I love the ocean. I love you can't it. can't swim. Bro, I grew up in the housing projects. Name one goddamn pool in the housing projects. <laughs> There ain't no goddamn pools in the housing projects, bro. Not where I yeah. Was. Yo, <laughs> shout out to my man Jackknife. He got black folks' problems. I love him. What? All right. What? All right. There, was, there, there was not a goddamn pool, bro. Bro, bro I lived in. Look, first of all, I'm. Look, man, I grew up in the. Look, I, I lived in the projects only two years. All right. I'm. I stomped in the projects too many years of my life like the projects was right around the corner all my life like so i get it yo trust me i get it. i'm just laughing yo. i'm like jack, jack and i've got the same problems we got right. I'm, just being, I'm just being honest bro jack, jack and black as hell who knew all right so we, we, we had we had hanging out that one white kid that had the pool we'd like we'd all be like oh we we didn't like the kid but we we had to hang out with him because he had the goddamn pool Gotta like, have oh him. yeah, Timmy. Timmy's awesome, bro. I love that goddamn kid. We Gotta go have to his house. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So here, here's one. Here's one that may may touch you a little bit. I don't know how this is gonna affect you. Have you ever cried during a movie? You want to know something that's kind of fucked up? I've never really cried during a movie, but I've cried sometimes. Watching Maury Povich find out who the father was. Really? I don't know why. I don't know why, bro. Because because uh, when the guys <laughs> when the guy I'm not, I'm not lying, bro. Why I'm not lying. Like, where bro. did this come from? Dude? I'm not <laughs> lying, bro. I'm not lying, bro. Oh my god! Like like, like when the guy's on there and he's like, I really want her to be my daughter, and he's like pouring his heart out. I want her to be my daughter. And then it comes out like you're the daughter, and he just loses it. And I'm like, oh, God damn it, you know, like because I'm a man, I gotta pretend I'm tough. And I'm like, God damn it, and I've I've never cried during a movie, but that goddamn Maury Povich, when I find out who that father is, <laughs> motherfucker gets me every time, bro. <laughs> I mean, all right, so I mean, do kids even know who Maury Povich is? <laughs> no, nobody. Does. We are we're old as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So check it out. So all right, we talked about food earlier. What's your favorite food to cook? Shit, bro. I make everything. I'm I'm actually like I. I, I like, know. I know. I'm like a chef, bro. Uh, favorite food I, I like. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Favorite. Food. Uh, favorite. I mean, I, I. Shit, I don't know, man. Favorite food. I mean, I keep I keep it easy some days. You know, I make like spaghetti, salmon. Well, see, uh, okay. So let me stop you. The, the reason why I asked that, and I didn't mean to cut you off, but the reason why I asked that is because on your channel. 
you know what I'm saying? You used to damn, you used to cook away all the time. You know what I mean? Is that yeah. ever coming back? Like, you clearly like to cook. Is that ever coming back? A lot of people want me to bring it back. A lot of people want me to do cooking streams. A lot of, me, a lot of people want me to make cooking videos because they actually watch them and they actually engage and they actually like them. They I'm, thinking about, I'm thinking about bringing them back. I got a banger coming out around the holiday season. I'm going to show you guys how to make something very cool on the holidays. Um, You're going to really like that. It's really good. Um, But a lot of people like it. You know, like what I did. I like to cook. I, I'm a fan of it. I can cook all different styles. The only thing I cannot cook that my wife is dynamite at, fried chicken. You have never had fried chicken until you had her fried chicken, bro. I am not even joking. It is the, the, the crunch and the fact that the crunch after the crunch is juicy. Like, it is amazing, bro. Like, you have no idea the fried chicken this woman can make. I was like, my fucking God, bro. <laughs> I mean, this, it beats every place. It be, And I'm not saying that to kiss her ass. I never kiss my wife's ass. I never, I don't believe in that. Uh, but her goddamn fried chicken? Oh, my God, bro. Legend. Legend Come status. Come on now. So, so like, cooking. But I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, no, no. Cook, and one thing I did see, that air fryer. Yo, I got to try one. Those things are the bomb, aren't they? Air fryers are pretty cool. I like them. Actually, the, be the best advice, uh, investment I made, the air fryer was given to me as a gift. I've used it a couple times. It's okay. I don't use it that much. But the one thing that I enjoy, because I, I I'm a I, you know I'm a big guy, I like to eat, you know what I mean? I have a a, a deep fryer. Mm -hmm. If you don't own a deep fryer, I highly recommend it. Amazing, amazing, bro. I love the deep fryer. All right. You know, you make your fried chicken, you make your wontons. I mean, everything, everything you can make is in there. You know. All right, all right. So cooking, vlogging, story time, all of that. You do a lot on your channel man you really enjoy being a variety channel don't you yeah i do i don't like i don't like being in one area man i don't want to i'm not here just to do this and then you know do this i want to be everywhere bro i want to be in everyone's goddamn kool-aid you know what i mean do you do you think you know that variety do you think that's a part of your success uh to an extent i mean i know that without without variety i know that without variety i went to met half the people I've met on my channel, um, you know, I met a large amount of very different amounts of people. You know what I'm saying? Like I met people from the hair, the hair community. I met people from the makeup community. I met people from all different varieties of communities that still rock with me till this day, you know, that I appreciate, you know what I'm saying? Variety, it can hurt your channel though, because it knocks out your algorithm and YouTube. Like, when I'm streaming, the algorithm knows gaming channel, gaming channel, gaming channel, and they and they feed me to all the gamers, right? But when you do a variety channel, the algorithm is like, they get it and they're like, what is this? What do we do with this? Like, they don't know what to do with you. Mm -hmm. So they ship you out here. They ship you over here. You're over here. It, you're everywhere, bro. And it, and it can affect you if, if you don't know how to handle it. Okay. So, like, so, all right. So what would you say to somebody who says, like, Jack, like, uh, do I need to niche down on my channel? Like, what should I do? I would highly recommend niching down. Don't be like me. Uh, me, I literally, I, I went in different routes. I went different avenues. Um, I would say if you want to be successful and you want to get, you know, stay within in, within your compound. Stay within your own thing and don't venture out yet. You know, build your audience, then venture out. Mm -hmm. Where me, I was like, you know what I'm saying? And I went with gambles. Um you know, but then again, do what you want. Do what feels right. You know, if it feels right to do this, then do it. If it feels right to do this, then do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, so, all right. On the flip side, what would you say to somebody who's like, yo, Jack, should I separate my channel? Like to, should I, should I make it, you know, should I separate things in, instead of having it all under one umbrella? One thing that I think is kind of stupid and annoying is the fact that um, you, it, when you pigeonhole yourself, like let's say if my channel was, um jackknife gaming okay and let's say it was jackknife gaming but i did other content it wouldn't make sense right so then you're like well i have jackknife gaming then i have jackknife cooking and then i have jackknife this jackknife that um that's why my name is jackknife finnegan i am a person therefore i could do everything you see what i'm saying but when you pit but when you pigeonhole yourself with, by adding gaming at the end or by you know adding something at the end of it you're kind of putting yourself in this type of spot where my name is Jack Knight Finnegan. I could go crochet if I want. 
I can go water skiing if I want, and it's all accepted because it's Jack Man Finnegan. That is some powerful, powerful information right there, man. I hope y'all was listening. And once again, man, I am here with Jackknife Finnegan. I certainly do appreciate it. Again, that is Jackknife Finn on Twitter, F-I-N-N, and Jackknife Finnegan on Instagram. The links will be down below in the description and on YouTube. All you got to do is just type it up, Jackknife Finnegan, and you will find my man. Yo, almost 50K. That's crazy, right? Yeah, well, you know what's crazy is I don't know when this video is going to get released, all right? I don't know when you're going to do it, but... By October 5th, which is four days, I don't see it happening, but it's called the 50K Challenge. If I get 50,000 subs by October 5th, I'm going to get $1,500 donated to me. Damn, that's dope. But I have to get 5,000 subs. I don't know if it's going to happen in four days. That's going to be a tough one. That's but, tough. They, but they said if I hit 50K by October 5th, I will get 50,000. We'll see if it happens. I don't know, but it's awesome, man. It's great being here. It's, it's great hey. being at that part of the game you know what i'm saying hey i'm but, rooting for you man but you know what sucks about being at that game is let's say you're a, you're um a small channel right you got a thousand subs and now you're monetized and you, and you think you're doing something you know what i'm saying you're like oh man i'm on top of it or you're like you're at 2k subs you think you're doing something but when you get to my level at up at the 45s i honestly don't feel like i'm doing nothing i don't feel like i've left the house yet you know what i'm saying because when you get to 45, you start looking at 100,000 channels. You know what I'm saying? The 100,000 mark. And then when you get to 100,000, you start looking at the million mark. So it's never enough. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep on going on. Don't ever just stop where you are and be content unless that's how you roll. Always keep going. Always keep growing. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. Keep growing. Don't stop. Facts. You know? Look at the next number. Look at the next number. Get there, God damn it, and go, you know? That's dope. The grind is real, man. The grind is real as hell, man, and it don't stop. Do you remember how long you've been on, on YouTube? You know how long you've been up here? I've been on YouTube for two years and uh, four months. Nice. Nice. You've been cooking, yo. Do two you years remember? and four months. Two years, four months. Do you remember, like, but you remember back in the day, like having no views, no likes, none oh, of that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> people always think you just popped up one day and bam, people were in here, right? I mean, I was streaming. Some nights it was just me and the moderator. That's it, me and the moderator. Some nights I was streaming to just myself. I was watching myself on the phone. <clears throat> That's how I used yeah. to do. Pretend somebody was in there. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I mean, there was nights I would stream with nobody there. There was nights when, you know, I, you know, it is what it is. You got to keep growing. You got to keep going. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. Don't let that stop you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let it stop you. Bro, if you knew how the starting took place of how I did things, like before YouTube, you used to be able to stream before you had a 1,000 subs. You could actually stream before you had a 1,000 subs. One time, I was literally shaving to go to work, and I went live for a little bit while I was shaving. And there was some weird guy in the chat. He's like, ooh, I like the way you're shaving. Like, he was real weird about shit. And I was like, <laughs> I didn't care, though, because I had a viewer. So I'm like, oh, you like that? You know, I'm being funny with it. I don't know if he still watches me till this day. But the guy was a little weird, and I enjoyed it because he was there, you know. But, I mean, I've done a lot of weird things to get to where I got to. You know what I mean? Now, what, okay, do you remember your first video? Your first video upload or stream? My, my first video was an intro. It was very short. It was very stupid. It was, uh, it was a, a wrestling video game with me power bombing a guy through a table. And it says, Jackknife Finnegan, power bombing that ass. And it goes through the table. And that was my intro. So it was, was, women. So it was an intro just for the channel. Like, did, did, okay. So, like, a lot of people, you hear stories like people went to school to be a lawyer, ended up being a teacher, and went to school to be a doctor, ended up being a scientist, whatever. Like, do you, is your channel still the same as what you first set it out to be, or has that changed any? It's pretty much the same. Um, other than that, it's been a lot of massive gaming content recently, a lot of massive gaming content. Um, yeah. I've been I've been focusing more so on the on the gaming. You know what I mean? I I kind of de- you know left all the other stuff, which I'm gonna be getting back into the other stuff. But as of right now, the gaming is like the easy route. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's like taking the easy route. Um, you know, you know, hunkering down into a nit niche. You know, it makes it easier versus variety. And I have to get back to the variety because that's what I am. I got you. All right. Well, let me ask you this question then. So uh, if I ask you, do you know who this guy is or these people? 
Amazon flex guy, Amazon ship guy, and video game guy. You ever, you ever heard of these guys? Yeah. <laughs> who, who, yeah. Are, who are they? That's me. <laughs> That's me. That's one of my old school videos. Amazon flex <laughs> guy, video game guy, any guy, your guy. I was Hell like, yeah. this is nicknames? Like, what is this? Yo? <laughs> Just come, yeah. shows how far you come, man. Yo, you are cooking it, man. So, Jackknife, man, you got fans out there. They love you. I'm a fan. Let's say if there's a fan out there and they're going Jackknife, man, I really want to be like Jackknife Finnegan. You say what to that? I say your I'm channel, flat. Your YouTube channel, of course. Um, I would say I'm flattered. I'm honored. Um, whatever you do, put love behind it. Put love in front of it. Um, always respect and love your people. Um, always. That, that's that's key. Love and respect your people. Treat others how you want to be treated. And I say, you know, if you want to do what I do, you got to work hard. You got to put your nose to it. You got to do what you got to do. And, and you got to work hard for it. You know, it is a given to you. And it doesn't mean go and do someone's live stream and say, hey, check out my channel. It doesn't mean, hey, uh, check me out. Look at me. Look at me. It doesn't mean that. It means work your ass off. Work hard. Respect yourself. Respect your channel. Be who you are and let the world know who you are. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. Okay? Don't, don't do what I do. Because what I do works for me might not work for you. Do what you do and be yourself. So find yourself and then present it to the world. That's what I would say. That's dope, man. That's dope, man. Well, I really appreciate it, man. Like, I know your time is valuable, man. This joint has been awesome. Uh, you've been a blessing to the channel. Man, is there anybody you want to shout out? Anybody you want to show some love to or whatever? Or anything you want to plug? I know you said you got your merch. We're definitely going to plug that down below your socials twitter instagram all that good stuff we're going to plug that down below but hey man the floor is yours you all right i want i want to give a shout out to uh no i'm not gonna be like that guy <laughs> hey, it's know, all good man you, you know you know that guy who gets on the goddamn news and he's like they're like there was a hurricane and what what, what were you thinking about when you were in the hurricane well first off i got a rap cd coming out next month <laughs> you know that guy <laughs> we all know that guy i'm not gonna be that guy For sure. but uh I mean, if anything, guys, check out the merch, jackknifefinnegan.com, jackknifefinnegan.com. Little fun fact for you guys before I do all the plugging and whatnot, uh, check out my man Beyond the Game, okay? One thing you don't know about Beyond the Game is me and him were in the gutter together. We still are in the gutter, but we're in the gutter, bro. We come from the same class. We come from the same the same class of YouTube people, bro. Like, we all came up in the same at the same time. We all found each other. You know what I'm saying? We all found each other. We're in the graduating class. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you check out my man Beyond the Game. Covers GTA 5. Covers good content. And he treats you like, you know, he treats you like family as well. He's a great man. Great individual. Thanks, man. I, am pre I, I enjoy the guy. And I know what you're thinking. You know, you guys are watching YouTube. You're like, eh, you know, you probably don't, you know, this is probably for YouTube, blah, 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 blah. I've talked to this man off air. I've talked to this man, you know, continuous off air. And uh, he's a great individual, awesome person. You should definitely check Thanks. out my man beyond the game. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. And obviously, you know, it goes without saying, I appreciate you being here. Uh, this is just, you know, a wonderful, wonderful uh, blessing for my channel, man. I can't say it enough, man, to have the opportunity to interview uh, somebody's channel like yours, man. Again, you're doing great things. You're killing it, man. We're all proud of you. So many of us in our community know who you are, man. We're proud of you. I'm rooting for you. Uh, I know so many of us are rooting for you, man. And go, go, go smash that 100K, man. Be the first of us to go get it. And you're going to get it. I'm trying, gonna brother. I'm you know, trying, 50K, is just, 50K is just a matter of time. You know, go, go get that plaque. Go get I'm that trying, plaque. bro. When, when, when I get that plaque, when I get that plaque, I want to interview you. I, expect, interview. I I was gonna say I expect another interview when I get that plaque. It's a date. We got it. I, we'll make I, it I, when I when I get that plaque, I'm I'm coming back on here. Hey man, appreciate and, it, man. And and if it's in this atmosphere or if it's in a different atmosphere, I'll be back. I'll Let's be go. back. And. Let's uh, go be and if you ever need anything, reach out, man. And I'm not telling you that because of the goddamn YouTube. I'm, I mean that. I know. You know what I mean? I know. I appreciate it, man. And I will. And I will. Again, man, shout out to you, man. Shout out to the Finn gang. Make sure y'all check out the merch. All the links are in the description, man. Again, for Jack Knight Finnegan, for myself, Beyond the Game, man.
we out, man. God bless y'all.